Okay, so I'm gonna just go through a list of other things that are tied into all these systems in a home. So as I'm standing here on the side of the house, I'm looking at a hose bib. So, you know, you screw your hose in it, wash your car, water your grass, so forth. Uh, we have this uh, barrier here. This is the exterior sheathing to our frame, all right? What you then have on top of that are brick ties. This home's gonna have brick and stone in places. So as they are stacking that brick, as they get to levels, they start bending these out, making sure that they are incorporated into the mortar and the brick, and that helps keep the brick affixed to the house. That's the only thing that kind of ties the brick to the house. It's sitting on a slab, so it sits on this uh, poly material at the bottom. This barrier is on top of that. That poly material runs up. That way, if water makes it through the brick and the mortar, and mortar is cementious, so it is, you know, it's got holes, water can soak through. The water gets to the vapor barrier, which is sealed. It rolls down, hits the poly, comes out what they put in brick uh, weep holes to allow water a mode of egress. Uh, other components on the side here, you can see where the pull tubes from outside. This is for service providers, so like internet, phone, satellite providers, you need to get wires into the house. You go in here and these wires go up into the attic. So they have some that are pre-run and then you have additional tubes with pulls to be able to get more. This is actually where the gas meter is going to be located. That's what a gas meter will look like. And you can see how it ties into the house. This is what it looks like when there's no brick on a house. So large gas line, gas meter, gas gets supplied, comes up, goes in. You can see the electrical bonding here. They're bonding all the electrical to the home, the metal pipe that's required. Uh, these are discharge pipes for the hot water furnace or uh, or the tankless heater to make sure if something goes wrong with the temperature, pressure, and release, that water has a way to get out. And if you have water ever dripping out of these pipes, again, these aren't finished. They're normally going to have 90s on the end, point them down because hot water being dispelled from a house would be dangerous coming straight out. Um, you can see where the AC unit, the outsource condenser coil, will be installed, and that's where wiring and the copper lines and everything will be running in and out of the house. Those metal boxes, again, are affixed to the frame. They flash around it, they tape around it, they make it watertight. That way you can run things in and out of the house without opening up the home's envelope. You'll see these metal pipes here. This is venting. Again, one's from the kitchen vent over the cooktop. This one right here, and what I'm, I'm thinking is this is actually for the uh, tankless water heater that will probably be installed in the garage there. You can see that brown box with electrical wiring. It's an outside plug. This builder uses a pretty good product. So that box is recessed. So when it gets brick, that box kind of sits flush with the brick. So that when you plug something into that box, you open a cover, plug it in, there's a knockout on the bottom so that you can then close the cover and prevent water from getting anywhere near the plug. Plus the plug sits back about four and a half inches from the edge. So it's pretty hard for water to get in there if that thing's set up properly and closed. Uh, other items on the side of the house that we can see here, you can see a sewer clean out. Again, that's for the kitchen that's coming right from the island where the uh, sink's located. So some other components while we're on the side of the house here, soffit and fascia material, all hardy plank. You can see the windows and you can see how they're flashed around with tape. You can also see how they've taped all the seams where the two pieces of four by eight material meet. It adds, again, a, a vapor barrier. Some builders use materials that's a foam board that adds a little bit of an insulation value. But this builder's using an exterior two by six wall, so they're going to put a little higher level of bat insulation in the wall. I'm going to take you to see a few other components that tie all of these systems together.